Brian, and of course, Sonia Edwards from Brian Insurance with our insurance tip of the week in the studio. What is it this week, folks? Well, we had a plan. <clears throat> we were going to talk about premium audits. Yeah, I always like to talk about things that happen to me during the week, and that's how I come up with my ideas. Yeah. And I thought about talking about premium audits, but then I was like, man, y'all be bored. <laughs> premium so, audits. Now, describe that, because I'm up for another year here coming up soon for the radio stations. Well, okay, a lot of, most commercial, general liability, and workers' comp yeah. are based on estimated payroll or gross receipts or a combination thereof. That's how the price is. Okay. So you start the year and you estimate. And then at the end of the year, your company, the insurance company, does an audit to see what your actual payroll or receipts were. Do you have to answer that uh, PPP loan that was forgiven? Does that have to come in as I part of it now? I don't even know the answer to that question. Do you? Huh. I don't know. That's a new territory. Yeah. What about uh, Olstein's church? Yeah, Joel Olstein picked one of those up for four point four million dollars. But, <laughs> but. Uh, so at the end of the year, so say I estimated that my payroll was going to be $100,000. Okay. So I paid my premium based on that. Then at the end of the year, when my insurance company does my audit, it was $250,000. Well, then I owe more money. Right. That's what it is, basically. Yeah. Whether it's gross receipts or payroll, it's uh, this is what I thought it was going to be. This is what it was. So that's a premium audit. That's it. That's okay. it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Now, there are companies out there that don't audit. Um, and there's some that do. Most of the time, umbrellas do not get audited, but there are companies out there that will audit an umbrella. Oh my gosh, yeah. that's the craziest, like boom, like, oh, I didn't see that coming. Hmm. Um, <laughs> and what we're seeing this year, I don't know, we see a combination. We have had some people that underestimated, but we have a lot of people that overestimated. And so yeah. some companies will actually return premium. Not all of them, but some yeah. of them will. Depends on how your policy is set up. Because nobody could have predicted what was going to happen this year, so they estimated based on, you know, pre-2020 craziness. Right. And so, so that, that's a premium on it. But we thought, well, that's kind of boring, so we thought we would just wish everybody a Merry Christmas. That was our original plan, but then you jumped in and just started asking questions. Yeah. <laughs> well, but you're making a good point, because if you think about it, uh, our payroll was pretty much consistent, but the way it was consistent, even though we took a little bit of an advertising hit in April and May, uh, I got a PPP loan, and that sustained us. We didn't lose a bit. Everything moved forward. So I'm just curious on... The response, but now I, do I even get audited with y'all? Is it a blanket umbrella for us? No, again, it just depends on the uh, company that you're with. Most companies will do an audit, yeah, but there are some that do not. Okay, and without me looking at your policy, yeah. I couldn't really tell you. It's that like, uh, uh, Hartford does radio yeah. stations, basically. That's their or broadcasting station. Now, one of the things is, is when you bring up the PPP loan, I would I can look at it from both points of view. I could look at it as, yes, it's an injection of capital into your, you know, company that allows you to have, you know, sustain. But I would also look at it as it's, a, you know, making up for the payroll. So it's not necessarily you have a higher exposure that would cause the insurance company to, you know, increase your premium. I would also say that it's just, to, you know, it's a float. So... I think we could argue it both ways, uh, right. depending on which you know company you have and how sticklers they are. They could go either way. Well, right. my guess, if I had to place a bet in Vegas right now, is that they would not include that in your gross receipts. But I'm not going to swear to it because I don't know for sure. Well, ironically, my PPP for the radio station for PositiveRadio.net was exactly what we took the hit before July when we picked up and got back to normal. So we had three down months because of the coronavirus, and then it picked back up and we were at normal rates. Yeah. So I, I think it's kind of a wash. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, But there's always that one company that would, that would want it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's that one I keep thinking of with the, that does the auditing of the umbrellas, and I'm like, oh, that one. That one would be like, oh, you got PPP. Yeah, we want to add that in there yeah. as well. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. The most, the most important thing, that, since this is our last time to talk to everybody before the first of the year, is we just want all of our clients and everybody that listens to us to have a very Merry Christmas, 
be safe, have fun, happy new year, and looking forward to a bright future in 2021. Very yep. nice. Merry Christmas. You too. Appreciate you guys. That's Brad and Brian. Brad, 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 Brad and, well, you know, we can say Brad, Brian. Yeah, I am Brad, Brian. And Sonny <laughs> Edwards from Brian Insurance. How do we get a hold of you, Sonny? Oh, you can call us 940-549-2525. Come see us, second floor Sierra Bank Building, or online www.brianins.com, and that's Brian with a Y.